Okay, our buddies are all, I'm kind of surprised they're not hugging and kissing like they usually do. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. This week we are uploading five videos, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if this looks cool or this looks cool, then those are the reviews in the lineup for this week. But today, we are reviewing Last Resort AB, doomed from the jump. I had to Google what Last Resort was. It looks like it is shoes. Rewind and play. I don't really know what to expect, but I do know I'll probably be a little bit less animated today because it's been a destructive weekend for me. Look at this. We got some little pole jams here. We got the dress code. That was pretty sick. Little power slide. Front board. You got to appreciate the guys that can do the goofy tricks and the big rails because it seems like that's becoming more and more of a dying breed people that can skate you know really diversely i guess right we got manuals here we got a crazy sex change right there we got the uh the manuals we got the big rails feeble through the kink now he's just talking to the camera he's got the street spots got the weird fake arm stees got the crail so we get some unique tricks too i can definitely appreciate these tricks when they're landed clean right but again there's a lot of dress code going on there's a lot of weird bending and what i would call fake fake steez but i know whenever i say that here on youtube everyone goes oh no it's totally real right there uh wacky inflatable arms on the nose grind on the curb we get what was that a pole jam to crook can i watch that one again the pole jam up into a crook okay let's check that one out again he did. Wow, that's really impressive, uh, in my opinion. What? Wait, what happened there? So he kind of pole jams off the side and then nose grabs. Okay, pretty cool. Unique, you know. Um, a lot of these wall rides. I appreciate that. Look at that. We talked last week about kind of bringing your skate park to the spot. He didn't bring the skate park to the spot. Just found a street sign and, and got it going. You got Nigel out here. Paying street league people to make little ramps so that they can skate rails that are otherwise unskatable. So for this guy, I uh, I can give him a break. What is this camera? Oh, this is the new VX footage, huh? <laughs> this is the first Android that ever came out, used by cavemen. All right, fast forwarding through. By the way, a link to this video will be in the description below. So if you want to watch it with audio, I can only assume they're playing some weird music because that's what all these guys are required to do by skateboarding law. Uh, we got a guy that's going fast, backside ollie, nicely done. I mean, I am entertained. You guys already know. I watch these videos and I try to be really honest about my bias, right? Like, I know that I'm not gonna like a lot of these videos. And although I, I can be, my mind can be changed, there's a lot of situations where the videos I review here on YouTube are not the videos that I would just click when I'm scrolling through YouTube. In fact, it's become one of you guys' pastimes whenever I'm streaming live on Twitch for you guys to uh, pay $2 to force me to review videos that I hate reviewing. So, whatever. If you guys are having fun, I'm having fun. Wall right here. Guy almost breaks both of his legs. <laughs> a lot of roll-ons. A lot of roll-ons and pole jams. But, you know, if, uh, if the tricks are changing and the tricks are getting hard and they're being landed clean, then what do I have to complain about? Also, man, you know what? I'm not really in like a funny mood today, so maybe I can't, uh, maybe I can't talk the same amount of trash I usually would. This guy's fucking me round. That was nice. Got a little, uh, front board shove action right there. Making everyone stop traffic to look at him. Crook, uh, slappy to roll in there. Okay, we get the board slides. That's pretty cool, right? A little, what do you call that? Like a wally off the curb? Should we call it a Kirby? <laughs> a Kirby video games, huh? Another roll-on grind. Can we get out the uh, the clicker and count how many roll-on grinds can be in one video? I swear 10 years ago, there would be one roll-on grind for every 30 videos, and now there's 30 for every one video. Especially if you see, especially when you're looking at the dress code with the pants and the shoes. You know, for, for a sport that has no rules, you guys sure do dress the exact same way. And, and if you don't, it's almost not allowed. It's against the rules. Frankie. I, uh, a lot of you guys might know this. 
This guy was on my channel quite a bit back in the day. We've lost touch. Uh, I don't even think he lives here anymore, but really good skateboarder. We won't see any fake steez from him, I imagine, but you know what, who knows? Wow, this guy is eating shit. Oh wait, that was, so I did scroll through this. I thought Frankie had the last part and I think he does. Maybe this is just like a montage in the middle, right? That was sick. I tried to get that to be a thumbnail, but it's too blurry for some reason. I uh, couldn't get the thumbnail I wanted out of this sick ass. So I'm not a big fan of like the tail drops into like 50-50s or whatever, but this guy's dropping pretty far and this is filmed really nice. This this big bright white sky with the white wall going down this gray rail. What a sick ass trick. Whoever filmed that, excellent job. Backside flip in the uh, neighborhood, dropping all the way down. So this guy's pretty gnarly. Usually I would call that a roll on grind also, but that was... That was a lot of impact right there. Okay, our buddies are all... I'm kind of surprised they're not hugging and kissing like they usually do. What is this hubba we got here? Grind down and across. No no skids for the kids. No rolling down the hill, huh? <laughs> I am not in the mood to be doing these reviews. And Ollie right there, you would have done that last year. You get trick of the year. But you only get that if you're willing to sue people. <laughs> get somebody's badge numbers. A little tiny bonk on that rail... And then he landed it perfectly. 180 nose grind here. You know what I can certainly appreciate is, again, the amount of rapid fire tricks here. We're getting trick after trick after trick after trick. When in the past, you know, skateboarders just filming birds. Filming bags and birds and blunts. Triple Bs, man. Bags, birds, and blunts. That's all they do. They never ride the skateboard. But this video is a pleasant surprise because there is a lot of skating and it's... It's pretty tough. There's also a lot of zooming in on your friend's faces while they make a weird face after you landed a trick. Front lip to fakie here. Filming is on point too. Really not a whole lot to complain about. You guys know what I don't really care to see another roll on grind there. What I don't care to see is, uh, is all the B-roll. If there's more B-roll than skating, then it's not a skate video. It's a B-roll video. In my opinion, I know a lot of people disagree. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, you want there to be a story told, but also I've seen so many 8mm filters in every single video. Once again, you guys can stop calling skateboarding unique. It's, it's not anymore. Everyone's doing the same thing every day, every video. Um, but right here, at least we're letting the skateboarding do the talking. Another little pole jam there. Another pole jam there. We got a lot of pole jams coming up here. We also already saw a pole jam to Crook. <laughs> we get another pole jam right there. The Susky or front people, whatever you want to call it. 5-0 popping out. I will tell you this. As much as I'm, you know, talking smack on this video, I'm very entertained. Like I said, what gets me bored is when they start filming clouds and shit. Because I can go outside. I have clouds, okay? I have birds where I live. They're outside. I can go find a bag at Walmart. I don't need to see all that in the skate video. I watch the skate video for the skateboarding and the skateboarding tricks. Okay, save the bags for Walmart. Save the, the birds for flying around in the sky and laying eggs and doing whatever the fuck birds do. All right, got our buddies in the back of the car right there. See, that was less than one second of B-roll and it probably, probably matches the song. So they're at least, again, letting the skateboarding do the talking. All right, little nollie flip in. Wall right here, going into the darkness. Switch flip into the wall, bouncing across, not bad. Wait, is this, oh, this is Frankie. Okay, here we go. We were waiting for this. Big Ollie down there, or was it a grab? Who knows? Ninja doesn't even know what he's watching anymore. Was it a grab? <laughs> like the old wheel bike grab, pretty cool, big jump. Frankie's always been good at big jumps. Also, I can appreciate Frankie, he's kind of good at everything. Guy can manual, guy can do stairs, guy can hit rails, and he can do all this hipster like drop in grinds and roll on grinds and shit like that. Filming the buddy's foot. You know, I don't mind B-roll like this because it's something funny. Something to laugh at. Okay, and then here we get a little skit. You know, this is where I would usually fast forward, but I can see why people would like it. So, no complaints here. Giant tray flip down the skinny stair set right there. Riding along in the trees. Was, was this a line or what? Oh, the double man. Are we going to get a flip out? We know he can do it. Nice. Excellent. Tray flip flat on the terrible ground. Another pole jam. Um... Tell you guys what, if if this is a shoe company, right? We already looked up it is. There should be a shoe model just called the Pole Jam. That's pretty insane too. Uh, coming off of a handrail and then going to any type of manual is already pretty nuts. 
quality here got kind of weird, maybe with the upload, and we're also not at 60 frames. Another Ollie right here, cruising down, filming his buddies. Late big spin. Backside flip, the bread and butter, man. Excellent. No tic tacs, right? Not too much roll up, not too much roll away. We're not spending a whole video watching birds front board 270. Nicely done. Got the little shove to, to carve grind there. Kick flip across and down. Look at this. Dude, there's so many tricks here. We've watched videos even, what, last month where it honestly seems like the skater does 12 tricks, but with enough slow mo and enough B roll and enough time lapses, they've somehow turned that into an entire skate video part. Versus here, it's trick after trick after trick after trick. I appreciate it. You know, the skills are there. Fakey flip grab. Don't see a lot of those uh, ever. Frontside flip grind. I guess that is the end of the video. So overall, not bad at all. I would say from beginning to end, very entertaining. Even though the style of video is not my cup of tea, at no point was I annoyed. I didn't see too many violations. So I would have to give this video, what, a 9.5 out of 10? I don't know if you guys would disagree with me, but if you do, let me know in a comment below. Maybe there's something I missed, or maybe you guys can just share your philosophy about skate videos with me, because I know we're not always going to be on the same page, but I do always enjoy reading your comments. Again, a link to this video will be in the description below. Also, this video. This video, this is a toy machine video. Man, that thing is good. I think I'm gonna save that for Saturday, so make sure to subscribe if you wanna check out the rest of those ninja reviews. And again, five videos, man. We're doing a lot of work here. Hopefully you guys are entertained. I will see you tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata.